Good evening. This is the king of all mediums, and welcome to podcast number 59. And today is May 17, 2021, and it's a beautiful day. It's always a beautiful day. Every day you get. Okay, so today I'm going to do a, uh, and again, I haven't been doing many podcasts, and uh, I hope to be doing more. Again, I've had some issues. I've fallen behind at work, so I've had to uh, catch up a little bit. And uh, but I have a very good boss. He's a he's a good guy. So um, so today will be a fines video. Four new fines. So first, first the first one. First one is a rug. <laughs> so I got this off Facebook. It took a long time to get. Okay, so a vinyl rug. I got a small one, and I really like it. It's a, it's a, like a shape of a record. Okay, an album. And uh, I think I'm gonna get another one. This would be good for my bathroom. I come out of the bathroom. It needs to be clean a little bit. You know? but I think I'm gonna get another one. Definitely, I might use this one in my bathroom. So, uh, so I got this. I got it on Facebook and. I like buying things on Facebook. I bought a Mac computer for $89. I still haven't got it, and I don't know how to complain, you know? I'm a big complainer. I let things go sometimes. I just don't want to be bothered. The stress, you know, of being bothered, to me, is a big thing in life, you know, the stress of it. And I just let things go. I did to me $90 in the scope of things, you know? Um, and one person said it took a long time to get, so maybe it's just a waiting game on this thing, but... This thing took a long time too. It finally came, and I'm very happy about it. So uh, let's get this over here. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Let's. Uh, so that's fine. Number one, a, a carpet. <laughs> okay. Fine. Number two. Okay. This is great. If you're a Buffalo Springfield fan, you must get this. Okay. <laughs> so I'll tell you some interesting things. Okay. So the Buffalo Springfield. Box set. So I'll tell you first the bad thing about it, okay? There are four diskettes, four discs. There's a nice booklet. I haven't read the booklet yet. But the bad thing I'll start with first because everything's great, okay? Disc four is the bad thing, okay? So basically they give you a mono Buffalo Springfield, the self titled a first CD. And they give you a stereo Buffalo Springfield again, which I already have. I don't know if my Buffalo Springfield's a stereo. So, okay, now that brings us to discs one, two, and three, which are great, okay? Okay, so what do they have on them? They have demos, they have unreleased uh, alternate uh, takes, and they have unreleased tracks. Now, the uh, King has found there are 11 unreleased alternate tracks that have never been released before. So the King is going to make a, a cassette called Buffalo Springfield 4, okay? Uh, unfortunately, I cannot sell this because, you know, I'd get in trouble. Uh, King does not like to do uh, illegal things, but um, let me go some of the highlights. Um, um, one of the interesting things, uh, Disc 1, Song 22, it's called a song Down, Down, Down. Now, if you know the song Country Girl on the... Uh, Second Crosby Stills uh, Nash and Young album, uh, Country Girl. Basically, it's the part that's in the beginning before he sings the chorus, Country Girl, I think you're pretty. Okay, it seems like he just didn't have an idea for the chorus. This is the exact same song. Um, and intermixed is 11 different unreleased tracks. So I'm going to take them. One of the more interesting tracks is down to the wire. Now that was released on Neil Young's great uh, three album uh, set, which is called uh, Decade, 66 to 76. Um, I got it on CD. It's only two. I lost it originally. I had it in all my possessions. And uh, one of the most interesting things is there's a alternate take on this, which I will put on my album, one of the 11 unreleased tracks, which Stephen Stills is singing uh, the lead. Um, some other interesting things, and there's a few. Um, I won't go over all the tracks, of course. Um, uh, 
on, okay, on Neil Young's, um, everyone knows this is nowhere, of course, there's the three great songs, uh, Cinnamon Girl, uh, Down by the River, and what the hell's the other day, you know, <laughs> Down by the River, and Cowgirl with Sand. There's a really good song I really like on it called uh, Round and Round and Round We Go. There's a demo on this one, so we had this for Buffalo Springfield, but it's, so he just has a demo. He also has another one of his famous songs, which was on Decade, called The Old Laughing, uh, Old Laughing Lady, which is, has a lot of orchestration, but here he has a demo of it. Um, there's a lot of the, uh, the tracks that will never go up pretty, uh, really good. Um, um, it's a nice uh, Stephen Still song. I don't know if you, I think the song he actually ended up on one of the uh, CSN albums. I'll have to check on it. Four Days Gone. Um, let me see what else that might. I'm sure there's something else that I, I'm forgetting. Um, but it's a really, I mean, if you're a Buffalo Springfield fan, I had a big argument with my brother, who was better. Uh, the Birds of Buffalo Springfield. So you get this, um, the first part is they give you all these. They first they give you all these articles about Buffalo Springfield, you know, they show each of the members. And uh, I'm so excited to make my, uh, and then, so I, so it comes on CD, so I cannot transfer it to CD. So first I'm going to uh, record it onto a cassette, then I'm going to record it back to the CD. So I'm going to have a compact disc made, and I'm also going to make up um, a, um, you know, a, a um, some kind of artwork for it, and I haven't had my Buffalo Springfield 4, which I'll show, but of course I can't release it to the general public. You know, contact Stephen Stills, and so it has, and it also has a track list things, and um, I, you know, I've turned into a big Buffalo Springfield fan. I was talking about the argument I had with my brother, not an argument, but you know, a discussion, and he says, and between Buffalo Springfield and Birds, two competing groups at the time. And I think the Buffalo Springfield is much better than the Birds. I, I, I think the Birds are also kind of spotty after their hits. And he disagreed with me, but I love Buffalo Springfield. I'm a big, big Buffalo Springfield fan. I got all three of their albums, I got their box set. Um, I just want more and more. There's just such a great band. And I think if they say on, it would have been a, a second a Beatles. Um, really, they would have been a, into the 70s. A lot of people they had a third song right? it was pretty good too. I mean, not, of course, not a level Stephen Stills and Neil Young, but um, uh, Richie Fury. It's pretty good too. What's some nice songs? Okay. Now the next find today I got. So I've been trying to get this album on vinyl. I bought it at eight dollars at a uh, used record shop. It only had uh, the. Uh, second album so then what I did was I went and got uh, I ordered it uh, for about 30 bucks and it was in horrible condition the guy was nice at least gave me a refund so then I got this I got the uh, Beatles it wasn't a copy that the white album of course if you don't know what this is and um, kind of, <laughs> it's not any collector's item this guy wrote his <laughs> you take it out <laughs> He also wrote a, I don't know what he did, he wrote his, uh, you know, took magic marker or something and he wrote on the album, like, I used to do a kid on baseball cards, you know, <laughs> I had a bully maze, and I go, <laughs> yeah. what is he thinking, yeah, I mean, not a valuable white album by any means, you know, um, I don't know how much I want to invest in a white album, you know, maybe one of the numbered copies, you know, but, uh, so I got it first, and it was popping and skipping, and you know, you know, my favorite song, my uh, second favorite song uh, by the Beatles is Dear Prudence. Uh, maybe one day I'll mention my favorite song. Yeah, I love Dear Prudence, it's, it's one of the greatest songs I've written. And um, so, what happened was uh, I had like two or three skips, so I, I was not a very happy man. So then I, just, I have a flashlight by my uh, record player, my uh, turntable, and I looked and uh, it was full, it was like fingerprints and <laughs> dust. And, and I 
turned it over. Then this is the first time I still had it. So what I do is I wash out, I put soap on them, and I, uh, t you know, just take your fingers. Actually, it's okay because you're gonna, <laughs> you know, it's not gonna put any fingerprints because you're gonna wash the album. So wash both sides, put it back on. And it's a VG plus, you know, it's a VG. Really sounds good now. So I gave the guy four out of five stars because it was still a pretty good buy. You know, these are really valuable. This. You know, new costs like seventy dollars. You know, and this is you know pretty good. You know, probably mid seventies for it. Yeah. Um, after the Apple period, and then they came back with the Apple, and so you know, it has some of the original pictures of the Fab Four, the greatest group of all time. If you say people are a rush, you need to immediately the nearest look up mental. You know, you go to Google mental institution near me. You know. <laughs> I'm serious. Okay, you just cannot. Maybe maybe I'll have a podcast on that. You cannot be serious. These guys. <laughs> the hell did I do with the other two photos? I got Ringo and I got <laughs> Rush. Instead of the Beatles, can't be serious. <laughs> can't be serious. Come on. That album is so boring, by the way. That I have that, by the way. Get the hit on it, money. That song sucks. <laughs> You're gonna compare this album. These two albums are better than any Pink Floyd. Hey, take any two Pink Pink Floyd. Albums. One Pink Floyd album that after the Sid Barrett period. I like Sid Barrett. Uh, Wish you were here. I think it's pretty good. But you could take just a like Dark Side of the Moon and uh, Wish You Were Here. These two albums are better than them. I'm sorry. They're so fucking good. <laughs> okay. Now the final find is okay. So I'm gonna need, oh. <laughs> I'm gonna need this for this and there. Gee, come on, orient yourself. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Okay. Because I did. This is a new to me album, you know. So I listened to it and I took notes, which is always good. You know, I don't want to come here unprepared. So this is the second album by the Mamas and the Papas. That's called Self Title. Now. One thing I don't like is just getting greatest hits package, and I now have the first two Mamas and Papas albums, and I'm thinking of getting more of them because some groups I really like, like the Mamas and Papas, and you know I have complete collections of uh, certain groups, like I have CCR, I have Led Zeppelin, I, and not really, I don't have Coda, I have the Beatles, I actually completed my collection, I have um, the Past Masters, all of their studio albums, I don't consider live albums, a grand funk, I'm a little short, I have up to, I don't have the last two, uh, their original incarnation, I don't have uh, Born to Die and Good Singing and Good Playing, and I also have the, um, uh, what's, not, once, what's funk I have, I don't have the, um, oh god, what's the name of that album, the Hot Chick on the cover. So I really don't have, I'm missing three, which I'll probably get. Uh, I just got Phoenix today. I thought I bought it a CD, but it came in an album, so I'm very happy with that. So I have every one in some form. Um, so groups I like, I want to get every single uh, release by them. And that'd be a problem with a brush, because they put out 30 shitty albums. <laughs> Actually, I do like my favorite, I, I like, do like moving pictures. More because the album sounds so fucking great. <laughs> I mean, they're a good group. I'm not gonna lie to you. They they are very talented. And I do like some of the stuff they do, but I just the fans just overwhelming. Okay, so this is the self-titled second album. Now this is interesting for one reason. Michelle Gilliam or Phillips, whatever you kind of, who is one of the great beauties of all time. She's um, there, she's very beautiful and still alive, and she still looks pretty good, but not like that. You know, so. <laughs> why do all men just care about looks? Because we do a word, we evolutionary, we build that way. So, facts like women care about my looks, I don't look too good, or I don't have a lot of money, so women care about that. Yeah, that's what they get. Uh, men care about looks, women care about women, and uh, women and care about women. Uh, women care about status and money, that's what they care about. Oh, 20%. <laughs> Okay, that, that's just reality. You're not going to change that, you know? You fat chicks, that, we don't like you. <laughs> just face it. Face the facts. Unfortunately, 
You're so shallow. Yeah, yeah, we're all shallow. Evolution, we don't like fat women, we like pretty women. We like, we like 20 year old girls in bikinis. <laughs> we like Jordan, was it the guy's wife, Jordan Poyer, like a football player? Oh my god, he's so beautiful. But anyway, that's reality, you know. Who would you, if you're a guy, who would you rather date? Let, let's assume it's 1966. Her or her? <laughs> Personality. <laughs> so anyway, the controversy was Michelle Phillips, Gillian, whatever, had an affair with the Birds guitarist songwriter Gene Clark, and uh, uh, Papa John Phillips found out. Papa John Phillips, by the way, extremely talented. Uh, really, should be called the Papa John Phillips Band because the only thing the other three could do was sing. You know, and they were quite good singers because. He wrote the songs, he arranged everything, played a little guitar, pretty much did everything. So he found that was having an affair and kicked her out of the group. Uh, the group. And basically they had a replacement, uh, Jill Gibson, and she sang a lot of the songs. There's a little controversy on what songs she sang, what songs she didn't sing. But eventually, and they shot a cover with her, and she was in that same pose of lying across. And uh, Danny Doherty, I think, also the other singer, banged her too. <laughs> and um, so, uh, but no one banged Mama Cass. <laughs> no one wanted that. It's funny, uh, Mama, you figure all that money and all that fame, she went to big problems, she couldn't get a guy. <laughs> you figure, you know, Cass Elliot, you know, Naomi Klein. <laughs> she couldn't get a guy. And, you know, she just lost weight. She just knew about the Atkins diet. You know, I lost, by the way, uh, I was 221 in the middle of February, I'm at 207, so it does work, and you know, you lose weight slowly. Um, I was actually at 205.8, but I put on a little bit, but that, you know, it could fluctuate, so he's probably like 206. Anyway, so, he, he, Papa John fired her for having an affair, and um, what happened was they hired Joe Gibson, for some reason, they got rid of her, and they brought her back and then what happened was they decided that to bring her the cover back. So it's a controversy of which songs and I think Jill Gibson somehow more whatever I don't know her name is Jill. I like, I like that name. <laughs> uh, sang on more of the song, maybe like seventy five percent of the songs and they you know eventually uh, some fans come went to Jill Gibson, they interviewed her and they think they know which songs they sing on now. Okay, so let's go through and by the way this for you those who don't know King is the king of all mediums. Why? Because this is not a CD. It's not an album. It's a real to real. Uh, it was oriented wrong. <laughs> uh, the king of all mediums tried to fix it, but he messed up. <laughs> so he's going to have to fix it, but he can fix it. All right, so let's go through the songs. Uh, side one, No Salt on the Tail. Very, okay, one thing I also want to mention before I start talking about the moms and pop is everyone wants to hear California dreaming and my uh, Monday Monday okay two great songs never be not great but I try to find you know gems hidden gems that's my thing I love to find a gem like Street in the City by uh, Pete Townsend and Ronnie Lane it's a great great song that a lot of people have never heard of. I think it's one of the greatest songs ever written so okay No Salt on the Chair Tale is the first track and by the way, every song was written by John Phillips for two. No Salt on Tail, very good, nice melodic song. Trip, Summer, and Fall is a good song. It's a good song, you know. Dancing Bear, it's a nice, <laughs> nice, it's a title. nice melodies, and it's a good song. Uh, Words of Love, now this was actually a single. I did not like this. Uh, Mama Kiss is on the lead vocals. Maybe that's one. Naomi Klein. She was used to me, but they, you know, it's a lot of anti Semitism and back then, um, especially even now, you know, <laughs> you know, no one even, you know, talk, you know, you know, analyze it and thinks, well, here's, you know, the Israelis, here's the so called quote unquote Palestinians, they're just Arabs, you know. <laughs> My heart still st uh, stood still. Now, this is actually one of the covers. This is a Rogers and Hammerstein song, and that was okay. And Dancing in the Street, the Martha Dan, the Vandellas originally did. I like their version much better. Uh, so that would wrap up side one. Okay, so we flip the uh, the reel to reel tape over, and I was supposed to put the label side on the back. I put the label side on the front, so I 
I messed up. Okay, I saw her again. That's a great song. That was one of the singles. And so if you take out the, the big two, I'll call them the uh, Monday Monday and um, California Dreaming, that's probably their third best song. Strange Young Girls. Okay, there's a lot of great harmonies on that song. So it's a very good song. I Can't Wait. Okay. Even If I Could. Very good song. You know, I like that song. That kind of girl. Now, it starts off mad. Not mad, but you know, it's okay. But I like the ending. Very psychedelic. Now, you can see the way shirt I'm wearing. Uh, the uh, Strawberry Olympic. I love the, you know, maybe I'll, at the end I'll talk about the kinds of music I like. Um, but it has a really nice psychedelic ending. And, um, um, and the last song was Once... Once was a time I thought. Now, this is a bad song, basically, for one reason. It was just harmonies, and it lasts only all of uh, 58 seconds. <laughs> okay. Now, you know, just a short discussion before we end tonight, you know. So, here are some of the tastes of the people at, uh, on that Hip Dave's Lounge, and, you know, I'm kind of different. I get, you know, I, I, you know I mean, I hear people liking ACDC. I'm like, how? You know, I've heard there's some of their best work, and... I'm like, hey, <laughs> dirty deeds done dirt cheap. Like to me, that's a horrible song. <laughs> so I mean, you know, everyone's taste different, of course. You know, like okay, so what do I like? I like, of course, the Beatles. Like to me, everything starts with the Beatles. Okay, and um, I like sunshine pop, power pop, uh, Motown. Um, um, let's see what else. What else? I don't like anything else. <laughs> uh, like. Um, Hard rock, now not heavy, not um, you know hard rock like Black Sabbath, Grab Funk, um, I, uh, Deep Purple is, is good. Uh, Black Oak Arkansas is great, good too. And there's a few well, others, Mountain of course, uh, Cream, you know, <laughs> Cream, some you know, Jimi Hendrix, Hendrix fanatic, um, uh, Dire Straits is I love Dire Straits. Um, so. And I hear some of the you know, some of the people like Pink Floyd. It's always been now. I do like early Pink Floyd, the Sid Barrett era, but uh, after that, you know, just way too, way too pretentious, and we don't need no education. What nonsense! Roger Waters is such a moron, idiot, anti-Semite. He's just beyond the pale. Okay. <laughs> Um, progressive rock, I'm not a big fan of. I could take it, leave it. Yes is okay. ELP is okay. First King Crimson album is great. I've heard a few others. There's some good moments in that. I don't know if I want to buy any of that. Um, of course, hip hop rap music is, is horrible. I would never. <laughs> I don't know what people, these kids seeing it. I, I don't get it. My, my nephew likes Little Wayne and. <laughs> I don't get it. Um, new Wave, I'm just not, you know, maybe Deception of the Talking Heads. Um, just not for me. <laughs> just <laughs> um, Folk rock I like a lot. Uh, if you like Joni Mitchell, James Taylor, um, Bob Dylan, I'm not a great songwriter, but Bruce Springsteen, I like a few things by him. I'm not a big fan of him. It's just that Dave Marsh is... He's like creates a god out of him when he's just you know he's just used to be a rock and roll fan. Uh, some other bands, Commons Queen, of course. I just think they're very pedestrian and uh, that so you know they created some good FM stables, but we will rock you and we are the champions. This is not good work. <laughs> this is not you know people say they were the greatest band of all time and. You know, <laughs> this is your best song, you know. I like to ride my bicycle. I mean, I know some of their songs. I mean, they're not bad. I, I think they're better than Pink Floyd. I think they're better than DC. And, you know, uh, Metallica fans are really annoying. And I have one album by them. Maybe I'll listen to it again. Now, the Ramones, um, there's a uh, guy on Hip Dave's Lounge that said they were great. Okay, so I finally said, okay, I know some of their stuff. Hey, ho, let's go. Okay, three chords, maybe two chords. I don't think they're, I think they're very overrated. I think they're basically a, um, a bar band that got lucky. <laughs> they just were at the right place at the right time. Uh, I want to be sedated, blitzkrieg, bop, rock and roll, high school. 
uh, not impressed. I don't know why I bought the CD, but I'm willing to give it a listen. You know, I'm very open-minded. You know, I, I bought Dark Side of the Moon and just not impressed that much. I, I do like the song Breathe. I think that's a really good song, but I'm not figuring out why people are liking this. People are comparing it to, you know, they had this comparison to Abbey Road and I'm like, huh? <laughs> you, can't, you can't compare that to Abbey Road. Abbey Road, the melodies are just so much better. The uh, harmonies, the you know everything. It just you know there's no comparison. How do you compare Pink Floyd to the Beatles? It's so much of a better grade. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out uh, where these ACDC, ACDC, ACDC. <laughs> I mean, Highway to Hell. I mean, come on. I don't know. I must be in. A, you know, I went through you know a long period. Where I didn't listen to much music, so I kind of like '82 to like. I don't know, I mean, I went through a long period, so I had like doing, <laughs> maybe you get an ACDC album, maybe, wow, I didn't think I missed much, you know? <laughs> Prince is actually pretty talented, Michael Jackson, you know, he's talented too, I'm not going to lie, and um, Oaktown I love, I got a big, you know, Hitsville USA, I, mean, I think, you know, I mean, those songwriters, those are Holland, those are just some of the, Maybe. I mean, definitely top ten, uh, do, uh, three songwriters, you know, multi uh, songwriters. You could put them up there with uh, Goffin King, Lennon McCartney. I was probably the best, you know. Um, but they were just wrote some incredible songs I put on tonight. And what's this hate of Diana Ross and Supreme? What are you people uh, racist? <laughs> racist? <laughs> just kidding. But um, yeah, I, I'm surprised at the poor views on. I mean, Diana Ross was great. I love Diana Ross. She's so pretty. <laughs> I love her and Cher, and I love Marilyn McCoo. She's so pretty, too. Cher, she's so pretty. <laughs> so, you know, I mean, I like softer stuff. You know, I got a, I, you know, I got a heart, you know, for so I mean, Cream, that was kind of heavy. I love them, because they have melody, a nice melody. You know, Led Zeppelin. I like some of the early one, two, and four great uh, Halls of Hallways I like, but I don't know, after that, eh, not that impressed. Um, a lot of the songs are can just hard to get into, you know. I, uh, Physical Graffiti, I got, I, you know, they have a couple of great songs on it, of course, but um, after that, double album, there's a lot of cut filler, you know. All right, so let's end it here, and then today, I might, you know, is uh, May 17, 2021, and it's the king of all mediums. This podcast is number 59, and I wish you a great week. It's Monday, and uh, you had a bad day today. Don't be sad. Pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and go back and do it again, because it could get better. could get worse, <laughs> okay? Take care.